Because there was that. I said, told me to go talk to him. I hope I didn't do it out of order. Oh, no. Okay, it's there it is. I see it. All right. I don't... Would, it, would he have been here? I should have tested that out, actually. Are you doing... Oh, oh, no, no. He is getting drunk for reals now. I... Yeah, no. Shaking the head. Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special Are occasion. Are you doing okay? And what's You're that? You're not doing okay. The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? Oh, boy. Uh... I thought you avoided talking about this. Not on special <laughs> okay. occasions. <laughs> All right. I enjoy listening to you this talk. This seems very out of place. There are few pleasures greater than speaking with a beautiful woman. <laughs> Let's see. You've heard of Sahara? Yes. The Imperium and the Canari I love fought his over theme the song. island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Canari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. What? I thought Denarius yeah. considered you valuable. <laughs> oh, my sword just popped he into existence. He wasn't a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. Oh, wow. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called fog warriors. Yeah. They found me and took me in, nursed me back wow. to Wow. I stayed with them for a time, until Denarius finally came for me. Uh oh Um, I don't know if this is the time to be a jokester, you know what I mean? Uh... Well, we'll, we'll f he was relieved to see you'd survived, right? Relieved to see his investment hadn't ended up in Kunari hands, perhaps. I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused oh. to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. What? Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had you returned did it. and this this fantasy life was over. Without blood magic forcing you? But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt I couldn't. I ran and never looked back. Wow. How well did you know these fog warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I, I truly lived. I can't believe lived. he killed them. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Redemption's a hard path to walk. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of huh. it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Ah. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. How old was he? I'm curious. Perhaps if I knew... I might have felt differently. Uh... Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me. Unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest. But by then, I was already gone. Couldn't you have found other fog warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt... Yeah. Unworthy. No, it wouldn't have worked. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. I simply had to get away. Huh. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south, chased by my former master every step of the way. I mean, yeah, like, if you didn't know any other life, you wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't know, even know how to comprehend escape and living... Free, there's no concept of freedom, you know? This can't be easy to talk about. 
She understands he's in pain, and she understands there's a time to be serious. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. Uh... Oh man, I maybe should have saved before all this. It just happened though, like I was just going to see the Dalish Elves and all of a sudden this is what happened, I don't know. It might mean more than that. I have never allowed He's anyone He's drunk and I'm taking close. advantage of him. When my markings were created, the pain was extraordinary. I love his armor, by the way. And the memory lingers. But you are unlike any woman I have ever met. With you, it might be different. <laughs> are you saying what I think you're saying? If there was someone before, I have no memory of it. Okay. There was no one after you escaped. I'm just gonna keep you. pushing, I guess. I stayed nowhere for long. Who would I trust? I didn't think I needed anyone. Or wanted anyone. Until now. <laughs> Did you see that face? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is hilarious. Freaking hilarious. Uh, I'm... Hey, you know what? Why the freak not? We why could not? find out. Why not? On another evening, Yeah, perhaps. why not? A last toast, then. To the fallen. Okay, that was terrifying. The screen started to tear, and I was like, if I lose that episode, I will be so mad! Oh my gosh, I don't even... I've been... This is... I am not doing well. I'm just... I'm way too obsessed with playing this game right now. Well... Freaking heck. We should move on. Okay, that, well, you know what? Okay, we can have two options for things to say. That's fine. It's more than we had before. He's like, hey, let's, have, let's, let's do a thing. And then he's like, just kidding, let's do it another night. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, except I want to see, yes, I want to see where he's at. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, is it impossible to be a rival with him now? It's not red down there anymore. I don't know. Wow. Wow. I I I am blown away, honestly. I did not think that would happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, freaking heck. I don't even know. I don't even know at this point if that's what I actually want or if that's what... I don't know. Is that what Hawk wants? I don't know. It's between... It's be, honestly it's between Fenris and Anders. And yes, I know I need to go do the Canary thing game. I'll do it. But then you just threw this Fenris thing on me. Oh! What? He has an arrow over his head. Oh, it's the gift! Oh! Shoot, man. I brought you something. It's shiny and subversive. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. <laughs> you got me a gift? I hardly think I've done anything to deserve that. Is it a... That's a Tervinter Chantry amulet. Do you want me to get executed? It's sacrilege to wear those in any land under the divine. Uh Um Yeah uh, Yeah Here I thought you fight for mages' rights. Whoever's bad side that puts you on. I like it. Okay <laughs> Maybe not on the outside of my clothes. I'm not that eager to face the hangman's noose. But I appreciate the thought. I've never really thought about what life would be like in the Tevinter Chantry. Not good in the for circle, you. They make it sound like the void itself. The Black Divine stalking Fadus, making it unsafe for kittens and virgins. <laughs> kittens and virgins? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, someday I'm gonna have to just try all those instead. Those kittens and virgins will just have to find a nice strong there we go. to protect them. Yay! Okay. <laughs> From what I hear about the Tevinters, that's the last thing they'd want. 
The virgins, anyway. I've never heard about any horrific kitten rituals. <laughs> I appreciate the gift. Perhaps one day I can return one as meaningful. Woohoo! Templars have become more active in their hunt for me. I won't be able to stay here long. Yeah. No, you won't. No, you won't. All right, let's see where Anders is at. I actually totally forgot that I had a gift for him. That, well, yeah. Um. Oh yes, myself. Wow. <laughs> You got, you guys, this is, this is fun. This is a fun game. <laughs> uh, I've been playing for so long. You guys are going to be so angry at me. Oh, but he, his isn't red anymore either. Let's, hang on. Let me, um. Uh, who do I, probably Isabella. We're a little more neutral. Yeah, hers is still red, and Anders isn't. Hmm. I, I think you have to completely max them out if you don't want to risk anything. Uh, let's see. Wow, okay, so I think Fenris is actually a little higher. But... Inter this is interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, hey, you know what? This seems like a winning group. Should we just play? Well, let me, let me level up, actually. I have no idea how I'm going to do these episodes. Uh, willpower. Cunning? No, let's put it into fortitude. Yeah. Eh, nah, let's, uh, we'll put one into there. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you can actually see how much stamina you've got over there. That's nice. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Let's see. Oh, that's the, yeah. Should I get, ooh, I could get the other one for Whirlwind. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Give it to me! <laughs> uh, dexterity. Oh, we could put her cunning up. Maybe constitution, get you some willpower. Dexterity. And cunning, yeah. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Defense plus 25 and critical chance or attack and critical damage. Uh. Okay. Let's see that. I think because she does have that. So, and let's see. We do at least have one of the upgrades. Oh, wait. Let's do that one, actually. Yeah. All right. Let's get to me. Looking good to me. What did my journal say? Oh, yeah. Right. There's a main plot going on, isn't there? woo de woo Okay. <laughs> I am gonna have to call this here. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit these last few because I just started recording and hopefully everything works. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. I will try not to play until after I get back, until after you guys have caught up. I've caught you guys up a little bit more, but um, yeah. Whew. This has been fun though. It's been kind of crazy. And that whole thing with Bethany, I really regret, but it almost feels like it would be cheating to go... I mean, it would be kind of it would be kind of cheating. Like, this is, like, my first playthrough, and there were little things that I went back, but a big thing almost feels 
worse than just a little thing, you know? And it, it probably makes sense, but yeah, I just, I... I'm gonna have to deal with, like, you have to deal with the consequences of your actions at some point, you know? And trying to make everything picture perfect the first time around, just after a while, gets old. So, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll see how it goes. I hope one day Bethany can forgive me. So, we'll have to see how it goes. But, um, thank you guys again for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so this is kind of a big deal. We're doing the Fenris talk. And I feel like I should explain why I'm changing from the romance to a more of a friendship thing. Um, basically, I'm going to be probably romancing Anders. That's Hawk is going to be romancing Anders. Um, I feel like... From, from, and I, I have tested it out, so I feel like the friendship route is just like doing, in this couple of conversations right here, it's just more natural. I think it flows a little bit smoother. She's been teasing him, but it's mostly just to like get him to lighten up, I think. And she was interested, but I feel like over the years, perhaps, she, especially considering what happened to Bethany and the Deep Roads, I feel like she's gotten closer to Anders and. In my, like, four-hour car ride, I was thinking about all these things concerning Dragon Age 2 and my hawk and everything, and I've probably forgotten most of it, but the sentiment is there. And in a way, I remember um, Subby was actually saying in the comments that she had kind of... Wor she she played, you know, Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition, but she went back to replay Dragon Age 2 to kind of make her hawk kind of a mirror image, sort of, of her Inquisitor, almost. And I don't know, I'm probably not saying it right exactly and not doing it justice, like she said it. But it's like, they're like a pair, you know? Like, but they were like, op sort of opposite ends. Like, they weren't like a perfect peas in a pot or whatever. They were like, they each had similar characteristics, but then they were ve very different on other sides of the spectrum, and so kind of matched each other in a way, like balanced each other out, is the impression I was getting. And I was thinking about it in the car, and I was like, at this, the rate I'm going, my hawk actually does parallel my Inquisitor, Erica, in a lot of ways. And it was funny, because I was thinking, eventually I want to go back and do a male hawk. And I, well, first I would do my Dalish Origins with Lynn with the Dalish Elf in Origins, and then play, upload that to be the Dragon Age 2 that I would do for the male Mage Hawk, and then I would eventually upload that and maybe replay, maybe replay Talon with that Hawk. Um, and it was funny, because in my head, I kind of have them paralleled as well. Like, the even, already the male Hawk and his situation and my male Inquisitor. But both my female hawk, or both my hawk and my inquisitor, are, they're women. They're warriors, specifically two-handed warriors. And they're both bloodthirsty to a point, like, once the battle, like, is upon them, their, like, bloodlust rises, you know? But they're, like, I mean, hawk is more, like, sarcastically charming, and then, like, Erica is more, like, um, kind of funny charming, you know? It's a little bit different. Um... But I feel like choosing the Anders romance was sort of destined for this hawk. Um, because I know a lot of people expect me to choose Fenris. Um, because that would be three for three elves, you know, <laughs> in the Dragon Age games. But I know somebody once said that they were hoping I wouldn't choose Fenris because he was just because he was like Solus or Zevran. And I kind of disagreed with that. I don't think Fenris is like Solus or Zevran. Um, maybe there is a little bit, but I think more than anybody else, and for many reasons, Anders is more like Solus. And that's not the reason I'm picking him, but I think that, that that's an interesting parallel between, like, as I was kind of going through it in my head, I was like, oh, hey, like, you know, Erica chooses Solus, and what a hawk chooses Anders they're gonna understand each other, or at least Hawk is going to understand Erica a little bit more. But they won't, like, you won't know, you know what I mean? And that's the thing is, I don't, I don't know, but from what I've, from what I've got so far, 
it would just it would parallel each other in an interesting way um and that's i'm i'm kind of hoping that's not the case but i'm hoping i'll pull something out of thin air and make a grand happy ending but again there are some things that i that i think i know about the end of the game that some people may be a little bit miffed that I know, but it's an old game and I played Inquisition first. But I am, there's still that hope for me anyway, that I can do something to change the outcome. Um, but it just, it, for this hawk anyway, I personally really like Fenris, but I think my hawk like likes Anders more. I think his devotion to a cause um, to the protection of mages is something she respects. I think... Oh, God, I can't even... I'm not even saying it. I'm gonna have to say it better at a different point in time when it's not so late and I'm not so tired. I knew I wouldn't be able to say it well. But let's... Let's just... Let's, let's go with this. I'd like that. Let's see. You've heard... I was there. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. I thought Daenerys... I am going to skip some of it, because <laughs> we've seen... Given a I choice. think we've probably seen the it, look hopefully. look on his fate. There are rebels. I stayed with them for a time. Until Daenerys finally came for me. Were you oh, with these I think, oh, warriors whoopsie. willingly? I think I, I did something else last time. I'm fond of the rebels. When Daenerys... He ordered me to kill them. So I did. Why would you do such a thing? It felt... But once it would... I ran. And never looked back. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. And this is where I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Put it into stone, I suppose. But... We'll see. But I, I think I like this better. Perhaps you're right. To you, Hawk. May I fight at your side for years to come? I love that. Like, I don't know why, but that... It just seems so much more him and so much more her. But I feel like her interactions... I feel like with Anders, she sees it as a challenge. Because he keeps saying, I'm gonna hurt you. And, like, she's like... She's not the same. He was like, I'm gonna save you. She's like, try it. You know what I mean? But it's, like, an enjoyable challenge. And, like... I don't know, but she also, she wants to protect him. Like, she has this protecting instinct, but I feel like what was, after what happened with Bethany, like, that's a big blow to that. Like, she wasn't able to protect Bethany all the way. She was able to, she was able to save her. Anders and her were able to save Bethany's life, but Bethany, Bethany has been dreaming of be, living in the house, living in the Amel house, and being a noble, and now she can't. She couldn't no matter what, taking her to the Deep Roads meant that she was either going to die or become a Grey Warden. And so now I think Hawk is just trying to kind of consolidate herself and her people. Like, she's taking, you know, things from other people outside of her, but she's trying to make sure that her friends are okay as best she can, you know? And she, but she, she's worried because she failed with Bethany and that was all she'd been trying to do her whole life was protect Bethany. And now she's not like Aveline levels of anything and she's still this like sarcastic, I feel like she's almost crazier now. She's just like, she's gonna take what the world throws at her and yell back in its face. You know what I mean? She's not gonna go down without a fight. But I think anything else is tertiary but trying to make sure her friends are okay is, is, is first priority. We should move on. I uh, like what he said before. It was nice. And then he, he said, like, let's go, friend. There's something. And it just made my heart, like, be, like, so with happiness. I was like, good. I'm like, this is good, you know? Like, this is happiness. Like, I don't know. Like, the, the romance just kind of felt weird. It really did. Let's see. Um, but with Anders, it feels more natural. And I think it's funny because I still remember when Bethany was like, hey, you remind me of our dad. And I was like, well, pff, did it sailed in stone then because freaking heck. <laughs> so it looks like Fenris is actually a little bit higher on the friend scale, but that's okay. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, I've already given Anders his gift, so other than that, it's just going to have to be stuff out in the real world. But yeah, I think, and hopefully at some point I'll be able to kind of articulate a little bit better. I did, I did a little, I did okay, but j just now, but that like Hawk kind of sees it. I think she's been probably hanging out with Anders more, like talking with him because of Bethany, like trying to see what it's like for a mage as a Grey Warden and because he was able to save her at least a little bit, you know. And so she's gradually come to appreciate him as a person and as a friend and maybe more. Um, and he's a challenge. Like, you know, it's like... I, I'm not I'm not saying it well, but I think the challenge part is key that like she wants to prove him wrong almost or something something like that. We'll have to see. I'm not saying it very well still, but um, I have no idea how this is all gonna be edited together. So if this is the end, cool. If not, I'll keep going. So thanks. <laughs>